welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you're new here, I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist. I'm also the owner of Norris Cove, an online budgeting and financial planning shop where we sell minimal inserts, we sell budget inserts, all that great stuff. Anything related to stationery, you can find it there. Well, today we're going to be doing our, my weekly budget. Let's see. I still have not done March's closeout. I, I don't foresee me doing it. Um, here we are. Last week, let me get my pointer. Last, let me use this pen. Last week was the 8th through the 14th. We budgeted $1,000 that I would make it in hair. We budgeted um, $150 from Norris Cove. I pretty much kind of just used this to buy shipping supplies, things like that. Um, but anywho, I did transfer it to that my main account. So we end up with $1,305, $150. We have $316 rollover. If y'all notice, I have more money in my bank account. Um, I don't know if that's from my raise I gave myself or just being better with my money. Um, so we have a total of $1,771. Everything got paid. I want to say Apple Music that came out, but I'm not for sure the exact amount. Um, I'll double check that. I was supposed to do that before I got on camera. Um, my high yield savings account, like I have the money, as y'all clearly can see, left over from rollover, but I have my car note coming up next week, so I may just contribute to that next week. Uh, groceries, um, I bought groceries, but I really don't even remember. I gotta go through my bank account. I just didn't do good this week of tracking my um, sinking funds. But I do know I did gas, and I did pay Capital One $48. That'll be in my debt payoff. Matter of fact, let's kind of switch over real quick to my debt payoff workbook. And I had wrote Capital One down, and then I didn't end up not putting that money there. So now we are, let me change the date here to, um, I was supposed to do it last month. I end up doing it. April, I think that came out. I'll just put the 13th and that's my balance. So make sure I'm trying to keep up with those. It's just a lot going on. All right, back to this week. So Ulta, I did not give them anything. I'm gonna try to work on them this week because they're due actually. So let's get into this week. I'm just gonna add an extra piece of paper. I have my desk mat here. And it, it is perfect to write on, but I'm finding that because I'm using it, that it is um, kind of going through. So anyway, let's get started on April 15th through the 21st. And as a reference, let me go to our calendar. And this is April. I'm gonna set this off to the side here. And so the 15th, first thing we have Allie, which is due. And that's 749. We have Capital One. I may not have to pay Capital One because since I've already paid them, but I'm going to do 50, at least try. We have HP Inc. And they've been coming in at about 60. Um, Citibank on the 17th. I have not paid them in months, but um, we might have to see what we can do to shake for them. Matter of fact, let me get my red. My pen. I'm just going to use the friction one today. And I'm just going to trace over that to let me know that it's in behind. Uh, let's see what else we have to do. This week, sub boxes go out so i'm not going to um i don't have a lot going on there so that's what that means okay anyway the 21st we have t-mobile uh t-mobile is just a it's a payment arrangement and that's the reason why i'm putting it in red but it's about 114 dollars so i'm gonna leave it there and that's it. So, also, I need to put some money aside for Barclays. I should have put an Ulta. Let me do Ulta. Put them on the 17th. Ulta. 
and we're gonna try to give them a hundred dollars let's see oh we didn't guesstimate the hair yeah. so for hair i've been guesstimating a thousand i'm gonna put in 1100 this week since we've been doing good no co i already know that we're paying ourselves for no co because we've already um put some things back so we're gonna give ourselves 200 from that uh let's see so that gives us 13 1678 that we're working with now we should be able to get some things done i believe this is check number three for me and i'm gonna put 1678 over here all right let's do a little bit of math We have $1,123, and I need to add my booth rent to that. That's $1,373. I just realized I didn't put booth rent on here. That's $250, and that's due on the 20th. So we have $1,373 all together. Okay, 1373. Now, that from 1678. These is $305. I need I know I need to get gas this week. I'm going to put gas down at $70. Uh, I need to go to the grocery store. That'll be coming probably out of the rollover. And I'm going to try 150. Um, I keep some put money aside for my son. Debt payments. I got T-Mobile on here, Capital One. Those are pretty much my debt payments, but I don't need to add those there. So let's do some maps to track 150. That leaves me with 155. And then we're gonna subtract the 70, so it should be like 85. Yep, 85. Now I know last week I spent some money on products. I need to put this down here in the expenses. And I'll come back and fill that in. I just had a thought because this week I shouldn't need products, but we have $85. Um, I'm not going to zero it out because sometimes my numbers aren't correct because of the way I get paid. So we're just going to leave it as it is. And I think we've come pretty close. That gives us a couple of little buffer there. And prayerfully, we have some left over some more rollover but this is car note week so oh oh yeah this is car note week so i don't really see like a lot being left over but um again as usual if you're new here and today's your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video please do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell i would love to have you come back for more leave me a message in the comment section letting me know that you're new here so that i can welcome you to the cove and i will see you guys in my next video bye